Hello friends, today we will see how to create cascading dropdowns in MVC3 Razor. Now in order to create cascading dropdowns, we have created two tables in database to populate two dropdowns. First dropdown will be populated on load from the first table and on change of value in the first dropdown, second dropdown will be populated using the second table. We will use the Ajax, po Ajax post using jQuery to fetch the data corresponding to values selected in first dropdown and the list will be appended to the second drop down now let's see through the code how it's gonna happen now let's see first what how our model is created our model is very simple and we have created two tables that is car company and car model and the car company has two columns that is ID and company name suppose Tata and Maruti is the company name and car model is linked to the car company and the car model has car name and car company id as foreign key and the car company and car model has 0 to 1 0 or 1 car company can have many car models so in the first job done we'll be selecting a car company and based on that company the car models will be fetched using this car company id and these car model will be uh, populated in the second drop down so this is the model for our uh, cascading drop down application now uh, we have created a single controller that is car controller for our uh, for our operations and we have created one service file which queries a db to get the details and that's it from the code let's run the application now let's go to the controller first now we have a cascading controller which is called the first which renders a cascading view and here we create a car service class object and here we create a car view model view model object and in this view model object we have created only a single property that is list of car companies so that we can pass it to the view and as a part of model and first drop down will be populated here we have created list of car companies okay now this car company here we are calling a get company list from db method uh, of car service let's go to this method what it does now this method creates a data context object and returns all the car companies present in the db Okay, suppose I have five five car companies, it will return the car company names to the DB. And here we are iterating. Here we are iterating and filling uh, the selected item list. And this list is then assigned to the view model property of list. And this model is returned to the view. And let's check. Let's debug and check. We run the application. okay now the cascading action method is hit by the debugger now we create the objects now we query the db and got the car companies here we have the maruti Volkswagen and different car companies and we are iterating and we are just getting the car company name not the id so it will iterate all the five car companies and we'll get only the IDs that is select is the by default value we have inserted and rest all the name text and value values is basically the ID so that we can query the second table using this ID okay now we have fight okay the two drop downs are rendered now if you see the view cascading view we have we have one drop down we have rendered it using drop down list for and we have assigned the list which is specific is part of the model property of a model to this drop down list for so it will render under the values which are present in this list and we have created a second drop down using select and this select will we will bind on depending upon the value selected in this drop down so let's see the view now we have uh, our first drop down binded with the values from the db okay 
Now let's see what happens if I select any value in this drop down. So what we are doing is we have used the change event on this drop down and when on this change event we select what is selected we fetch or we get what is selected in the drop down and we are passing it using ajax post to get car company get cars by company now let's go to this method so this is our second method basically in the controller now we are passing the selected value to this method and selected value is basically the id of the car which is we are binding to selected item list or id of the company so we are creating again the uh, object of the class we are getting a string list list of string so that we can uh, which is the container of the names of the car from the db and we are calling a method which is get car by company id we go here we are querying the car model table that is which is a second table with the company id which is passed by the user selection and we are only selecting the car name that's it and and this car list is filled and the result is returned as json now if you go to the view the responses response we get here all the responses returned by the second table and one by one we are appending it to the uh, second drop down list so by this way we select one item in the first drop down and the second drop down is filled with the response and if if we select select option after selecting if our selected value is select then we are just emptying the first drop down now let's see what happens if i select something now uh, i selected Volkswagen. so what happens the 2 2 is returned 2 is basically the company id of Volkswagen, and what it does it will fetch the table that is car model table based on the company id and it will return it has returned three values now this three values will be appended to the to our drop down list vento passar jetta if i select something else if i select honda then company id 5 is returned and the return values will be appended to the drop down now if i again select select option then the drop down list will be empty so this is how we can create a cascading drop down list that is by two tables and whatever selected in first drop down is queried to the second table and the values or the responses are get from the second table and appended again to the second drop down so this is a simple example how we can implement a cascading drop down in MVC3 Razor.